When a prospective client reaches out to us, they might be in a bind due to economic situation, morale, or changing regulations, requirements. They may also be ready for growth. They're okay where they are, but they need a push from the outside. And those are great opportunities for a partnership with Coleman Associates to help move them into the future. The Coleman solution is by no means one size fits all. We can never give you the same recommendations that we gave someone else. They came in with all of their knowledge base, but not like a formula. And they looked at what we did well and what we valued and where we were wanting to go with it and wanted to help make those things happen for us. The beautiful thing about our team is that we always approach it with an open mind. We're usually a small team of four or five people and we begin the DPI by observing. We're looking for how people work together and how many steps it takes them to get a job done. And we're also watching the patient flow through the clinic. And then after we observe, we'll present recommendations to them. We didn't mention the quick start. Oh, yeah. So uh, what'll happen with you, Katie, we're going to have an MA assigned to you. You will start the visit together. As soon as that patient comes upstairs, right into an exam room, the two of you, to start that visit together. Generally, they'll say they want to try it. It might take some convincing, but then whatever they agree to try, we put into practice that afternoon. We're learning, we're growing. These people know who works best in these roles and make it successful. And the end of the DPI is usually an exit conference where we go over everything that they've accomplished so far. Patients would come in at 7, there'd be that long line, but we didn't see them getting up into exam rooms till closer till 7.30. We take them back to where they started and how they used to do things, and then we show them how many changes they have made, and that would even include patient comments. And that just feels so good to learn how to make better decisions based on data, to learn how to go in the right direction to get the vision you need. That's huge, and they're coaching our leadership team to be able to rely on those processes rather than give us a preconceived prescription. After the rapid DPI week, we set up a final DPI team the weeks after we're gone to make sure that they're sustaining the changes and then also talking about anything that has come up that was different. Just the amount that they were able to ascertain in such a short period of time with respect to process improvement, prioritizing those things, which is not easy, and giving us a concrete plan to uh, move forward. Working with Coleman this week was awesome. When a client partners with Coleman Associates, they can expect a series of kind of hard results and then some softer things. In terms of hard results, we will help them to provide more organized care that will produce a lower cycle time, better patient experience, and typically a higher productivity. We often see clinical quality outcomes go up because people are all focused on the needs of the patient. And then there's this whole set of soft results like growth in their leadership team, better teamwork, better dynamics between the front office and the back office, a tearing down of silos, a better spotlight on performance. The bottom line is we want to know what they want to achieve, need to achieve, what their patients need them to achieve. This week felt so different because Coleman helped us learn how to work smarter. The most dramatic result was that we were able to see more patients. We thought this week was a really slow week for us, when in reality it's been the busiest week we've seen in quite a few months, and it didn't feel like that. And we pulled it knowing that this changed when you started the new triage process. We know this number went up. So Kaylin, what did we find? Guys, we saw way more people. <laughs> And it felt way slower. So, I think that's huge. That's success, that's growth, and that's improvement. And I think we can keep at it, and we can get people to buy on in and keep trying if weeks feel like this. I was extremely excited to see the data and the numbers, and they were moved emotionally, and providers said that they felt like they could give better care, and they felt like they were supported, and they felt like it was a dream. Based on what we were able to accomplish with the team, two thumbs up. A lot of people tell us that they're not hearing complaints anymore. They're hearing 
patients say thank you, that's what motivates me. This can fix the system, but fix the system for all the patients in this country who are sick and who need help and they don't think can get any better, but it can. <laughs>